So there are two ways that I do brush home. One is to actually put the water down first and then the second is to put it on dry and then use a water sprayer. So they're the two methods that I use. So I'm going to have a go at putting some water onto the page. And again, this is just really messy. It's not neat, but I am trying to get quite a bit down. I don't soak the page because then it goes a bit bubbly, but I do put quite a bit on. Yeah, you've got your brushes ready. Oh, good. So I've got two lots of brush out. I've got these, which are the Colour Craft, and then I've got two from Little Rainbow Moon. One is Bluebell Wood Brush out, which looks purple but comes on blue. And then this new one, what I bought, which is a pigment powder colour burst in Moon and I can't read that. And then I've got a yellow which I got from Lollipop Box as well. Just gonna, you've got to be very careful. You only need a tiny little bit. If you put too much on, that's where generally people go wrong. So just a tiny smidgen and just drop it onto the water. I love brush it. So pretty. And then you can actually merge it by just moving it around the page. So that one is the Little Rainbow Moon one. And that is the Bluebell Wood. I don't know whether she's still got that. It was quite a while ago that I got that. Okay, so... Can actually paint with it as well so you can then bring your paint across the page or another alternative is actually let me open this first I forgot there was three alternatives hi Colleen hi Cheryl it is really pretty um, is to dab your brush and then just dip your brush in a tiny little amount and then you can actually paint with it as well now obviously this is just a blobby mess at the minute but then if I get the spray it brings it in Woo. now that isn't brush -o. that is the one what's the colour burst Woo might have a bit too much water so I'm just gonna get a bit of tissue and I'm just gonna dab it the beauty of it is if you go wrong you can just go over it again I'm gonna make such a mess oh my word Okay, so I will try it with just squirting a bit on. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one, colour burst. Oh, there we go, we're getting it. Just needed to be a bit wetter, I think. There we go. Right, that is a lot browner than I thought it would be, to be honest. I'm not not sure about that one. And I'm struggling to get a lid back on. The other one is to put it on dry. And again, you only need a tiny little bit. And then to spray. And that gives a more sort of dappled effect rather than the first which was more of a burst effect but it depends how much water you put on if you put a bit more on it 
change this colour a bit more. Now, the issue I'm going to have is the drying because I don't like to put a dryer on brush oil because it always changes. Like you can leave it to dry naturally and it will change the whole sort of picture as it dries. Like there's, what, there's a couple of bits there what have gone purple. And it's up to you how you build it up, but I build it up really slow. I mean, I love that. I'm just going to leave that, I think, there without putting any more water on because it's reacting. It does look like a stormy seascape. Oh yeah, definitely get some holly. They're fantastic. I love brush oil. And literally what you could do, um, if you watched the video last week where we did the backgrounds, you could add some of those techniques onto it. You could also do this after those techniques. So you could put your modelling paste on and then go over it or you could go and add some modeling paste on after i always think these bits look like peacocks or fireworks we have a look closer It reminds me of the tempest, the storm at the beginning. I always find going over with white pen looks really, really nice, but I don't know whether I'm going to be able to do that today um, because obviously I want it to dry. But you could also add some salt to this you add salt to it it gives it texture um so that'd be something really nice that you could add in as well all right take care bye